mean, to me, the projects that have been given, it's not like schoolwork at all, although they are learning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was fun, wasn't it? And it made it fun for everybody, not just the children, but for the, us who were there. <coughs> Down by the Sea was an intergenerational project that started in January 22 and lasted for about eight weeks. And for this project, we worked with Gullen Primary School, with the P6s, and with the members of the Gullen Day Centre. And the two artists involved were Ben Winger and Yvonne Buskey. Hello. <laughs> Well, first we made the clay. Yeah, the little clay people. And then we put them in the winter window display. Then yeah. it was the bodies. We drew around the partners. I mean, drawing around the body here and trying to point out where somebody's appendix was, <laughs> was quite fun. I still don't know where the appendix are. <laughs> well, I, I certainly do. <laughs> I've got the scar to prove it. Then did we not make like, a lot of, like, then we saw like the wardrobe, did we not see that? This is the inside of a sperm whale. Um, and I really like the cabinet. I really like the yes. the um, cabinet with all of the... The day centre people, they seemed quite interested and shocked that we found everything on the beach. Yeah, we went to the beach. We yeah. went to the beach. We dug the things up. We wrote the stories about them. I'm going to read the title here. This is the story of Dwayne the Rock. That name rings the bell somehow. Right. So, uh -huh. Dwayne yes. was being transported with another patch of art to America. How big was this banana? Just it was like that size. That's, That's very big. big. The sperm whale spit up Trisha, but Jin was nowhere to be seen. Ooh. Um, it's a long story, but it's an ogre's toe bone. Oh, it's an ogre's... Let me see this. Ooh, it's an ogre's toe bone. It smells like dust. Is that, yes, it is does. that normal for an ogre? <laughs> sure. Are you Ben's identical twin? No, I'm Ken. Along the way, the P6s were visited by lots of experts in their field, uh, mostly played by <laughs> you. me. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ken and Ben, ben and Len. Uh, and th th this was through sort of video messages or um, live in person, <laughs> um, and th they were mo they were just sort of playful ways um, to introduce a bit of performance. Yeah, really. Uh, Children have commented on that as well. The fact that they were involved in so many de decisions and the way it was going and the journey, um, and you know they really appreciate that. They love being part of that, and they, you know they felt a great deal of ownership over how it all went. It was also fun getting to do the stuff like we wouldn't normally get to do, like latex and stuff and all that, because we wouldn't really get to do some of the stuff like in actual like school because they don't have it in that. Okay, what, what did you like about the latex? It smelt weird. It was weird, it smelt weird, weird, but it was fun to actually like do. Mm -hmm. We made it with the, with like, is in all like Plasso Paris. yeah, Plaster of Paris, and we made the organs. It was just like a lot of fun. It was like a scientific thing to do, like making it, putting it in the balloon, and then later coming back and cutting it and painting it. It was a real universal pleasure from both groups um, in the sharing of stories. So uh, we took it a little bit further and sort of looked at creating stories together, um, using um, images as stimulus, or, and sometimes the objects from the beach, sort of mixing them together to tie all of the sort of elements of the project together. And then we delved a little bit further again and created the worlds that these characters might inhabit and the worlds of the stories, um, which just provided real opportunities to share um, ideas and 
you know get to know each other better um, and create things together it's a really uh, sort of wonderful opportunity over the sort of four weeks working with smaller groups in the classes when you were doing the boxes now I believe you here who has got bench and, um, and, and she was drawing some very intricate drawings for that um, but I remember she really loved you know working with the kids again yeah very very um, powerful for them and of course some of our our members don't see their grandchildren anymore and things so having that connection was really good one of them reminded me of my granny what was great about the final celebration was it brought everyone together but also supported by Ben and Yvonne but the P6s had complete agency over that day. They made all the decisions about where their work should be, what the hall should look like. They decided that tea and coffee should be, should be served and biscuits and then the day centre members turned up and they took part in this amazing journey around the space where it was obvious that the P60s were so proud of the work that they'd done. Yeah, they put on the ice and Professor, it was funny, it was lovely. It, it was absolutely brilliant. Very interesting and, and a nice change for us. Um, and just the, the confidence of them and the fact they can stand up and speak and things that we never got the chance I think, to do at primary school. They're desperate to work with them again. They've been asking, you know, when can we do something else? When can we go and see them again? So they're really keen. Um, and obviously speaking to April, they're keen to keep that connection going as well. So Because I spoke to Alison and I said, you know, right, let's not stop this, you know, let's That's carry great. on. Uh, one, no, huh? two words. Bussing, banging. <laughs> Fantastic. Extremely fun. It was not worth missing maths. It was not worth <laughs> No, I, I it, was, it was. It definitely it was. was. Yes, it was. Uh, it was really nice to get to know them all, and I'd love to come back sometime. Slay! <laughs> all day, every day. When are you doing your next project? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Some fight. Yeah. Yeah.